heroin addicted roommate story that literally happened like three weeks ago so and they had been looking for a roommate replacement for about two or two or three months so deep room so this girl she said that she wasn't in the la area we talked on the phone you are looking for a place why is your phone going straight to voicemail like that's that's mad strange in and out i never actually saw her face to like a week later because she always had like a mask on in and out running in and out or clips of the or the text message right here she's basically saying like oh you guys have bed bugs i saw the spray and like they come out of the sockets what um red flag number i believe we're on red flag number three um okay i'll take care of it no problem it's okay it's okay and i was like i like freaked out i was like she's hallucinating something is wrong Um, but I fear for my safety at this point. Some people say I was being dramatic, but I was like, if you saw the erratic behavior, um, then you would freak out too. So at this point, I'm over it. And um, she, I, while I'm out, I come home and she's gone. So I go into her room and I'm like, okay, like she hasn't responded to the text message. Remember, early in the story, I said that she, her voice, her phone always went to voicemail asked her i was like why like earlier i would i asked her I was like why does your phone like i'm we're trying to text like why can't she's like i have like android messenger so her phone only works with wi-fi and i was like oh okay and then she was like yeah my phone's always getting stolen or like hacked and i'm like girl like so after this i'm like um i'm like okay she's gone i want to know if her stuff is still here so i go in her room and her stuff is still here like her laptop um, her laptop her blankets all of her stuff is still in there and I literally see, and I'll insert pictures here, I see a shrine that says heroin, not spelled correctly, but it says heroin. And then in the little bowl is like a pipe and then I think some batteries or some kind of tubes. Um, and then I'm like, she's a heroin addict. Okay. And my mom was like, yeah, like heroin addicts, they usually are cleaners. And if I show you our balcony right now, it's clean as F. That's probably why she was moving stuff. So then that, and I am like nervous. I'm like, I don't think she's gonna go willingly. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So I asked, I asked a couple of my guy friends to come over and wait. What do you think crazy happens? And my roommates are like, Joanna, like you don't need to be there. You can come like, come over to our house. Like you can stay with us and blah blah blah. And I'm like, I don't want this girl to chase me out of a place where I pay for the stubborn person I am. I don't go anywhere. So we wait, we wait, and it's past five. It's past six. It's past seven and she does not show up at all. So I'm like, okay, um, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen or what's happening. Um, so my my friend leaves and he's like, it should be fine, I don't think she's gonna do anything. I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding you. An hour later, she walks through the door and I had told the security guards downstairs what she looks like and what's been happening and she's not allowed on the premises anymore. Um, she comes up and she opens the door and I'm like, I'm like, hey, like you're not supposed to be here Like you're like you gotta get your stuff and go and then she starts yelling lease Sublease, she's I have a sublease. Y'all can't do this to me. I don't know what's going on blah, blah blah and then she's like what did you hear something given that she was saying that I didn't catch this on video Which I'm mad about but she was say, saying my name like I could hear her saying Joanna No, we can't do anything to Joanna and I'm like oh hell no um so she literally follows the security guard down to our to our uh our lobby and i'm like okay i let me get some shoes on and go down there and see like what what's about to go down and i'm literally not saying i'm not saying anything i'm like she's literally yelling talking about like this isn't fair like how are you guys gonna do this to me you can't do this to me i have a sublease i paid my money and then um she's like and I'm telling the security guard at this point, after she, like, she's still yelling at me in the security guard. I'm, like, telling him in a calm voice everything that's been going on, everything that's been happening, and the fact that she accused my roommate of being a heroin addict, and all this other stuff. And then she's like, you're a lying bitch. And I'm like, I have never called her out of her name at this point. She is going off. And they can obviously see that she, something is wrong with her, and she's kind of off. Um, so he's like, okay, I'm gonna call our, our supervisor to come over. 
and I tell him like what's going on and he's he's like she has a sublease and I'm like yeah my roommate entered into a sublease agreement with her I'm I have not signed a sublease with and she's been freaking me out uh, she's been freaking me out like basically this entire week and I start telling him like what's going on and then he's like she's like she's a liar she has COVID and I'm like what excuse me and I'm literally just over there like I don't want her in the house I don't feel safe she did this I showed them the pictures of the Regina King magazine which I'll insert here so the security guard, long story short of this part, the security guard basically tells her that she is not on the lease, the actual lease, thank God. So she is not allowed to be on the premises, so she has to leave. And they escort her off the premises. And uh, my friend's like, come to my house, come to my house, so you, can, you don't have to stay there. And I'm like, no, I think it should be fine. So I literally put this chair up against that door just in case and then I lock I thought I locked all of the windows in here and the doors all the windows in my room and my door and then I put just in case she knew how to break down a lock I put like something up against my door as well and um, I hear at 8 o'clock the next day a loud bang and it's our washer and I'm like I literally like start awake and I'm like no fucking way and then I open the door a little bit and I can see the light from her room on and I can hear her going hut, hut, hut. and I'm like are you fucking kidding me and at this point I'm terrified I don't know if she brought somebody with her I don't know if she's mad the fact that I kicked her out so I try to go out of our, out of my window window will not open so I'm on the phone with 911 telling her this There's a intruder in my house. She's not supposed to be here. And this, the police are never help. They're never, they're never there to help when you need them. Like they're they're underqualified when you need them, and they're overqualified when you don't need them. Like what the fuck is your problem? So she's like, can you leave? And the light kind of went out in here. So I'm guessing she was like laying down or something. So I run out the bed. I run out the door and I run downstairs. And I'm like tell I'm like shaking and I'm like where are the cops are they here? And the cause security guard wasn't there at the desk and he finally comes and I'm like crying and scared at this point and I'm like she's in my room she's in my house I don't know if she's still there so he comes up I give him my keys and he's taking way too long so then I'm like I'm like wondering like where he is like did she do something to him um and I escorted her off of the main building which is the building we live in and took her to the other building where the security office is and he came back and he's like she's gone um, she's waiting over there for the cops we finally get a hold of the cops and he they bring her over to the main building which why the fuck would you bring her over to the main building and full transparency she's white I'm black they start basically taking her side saying that we have to abide by the law you guys entered, entered into an illegal sublease agreement like she's on the, she has a right to be here and then they like they get my roommate on the phone and my roommate is telling her telling them all the things that have been going on and like what's going on and then he's basically like so um like there's nothing that we can do and she's like even though like we found illegal drug substances and he's like you found illegal drugs illegal drugs on private property with a person that you entered into an illegal lease with there's nothing that we can do um and i don't know what happens between this point of me like realizing that she's going she they can't do anything about it i'm on my own and i have to live with this psychopath um i don't want to say she's a psychopath because she might just need help which is honestly why I felt bad kicking her out in the first place but like my safety comes over my feeling bad any day so he I feel like he spent five like he spent more than five minutes with her started talking to her and she started spewing bullshit and realized there's something wrong with her there's something wrong with her he finally realized that there's there's something wrong with her <clears throat> he tells he tells me he's like okay we're gonna um, we're gonna escort her property. Can you like can she go upstairs and get the stuff and then she's freaking out She's like don't come near me. She's like don't come near me um, You have COVID blah 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 and I'm like what? 
I'm looking at her standing with the other officer and they're literally playing good cop, bad cop on me. And they're like, we're so sorry, like this thing's happened. It's really fuzzy because of the law. And like, you guys aren't supposed to be like entering into an illegal sublet on a prop on private property, blah, blah, blah. And the good, the bad cop is saying like, um, okay, like, can you like get her stuff? I doubt she's gonna go up. And he, she's like, I don't wanna go anywhere with her. Like she has COVID. <clears throat> blah 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 so eventually um i go back upstairs and i am just like crying because i'm, I'm supposed to be at work this is an inconvenience to me this is not what i wanted to deal with today um because from my understanding yesterday i went and got the key deactivated she wasn't gonna have access to the place and then i asked the cops I'm like how did she get access and they were like she climbed through the window and i was like she climbed through the window so he's like, all right, can you like go get her stuff, pack up her stuff, and then um, she can be on her way. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. Um, Cause she refuses to go up with, she refuses to go up with me, which I don't want her up there anyways. So I go up with the security guard <clears throat> and I'm packing up her stuff. And um, I find, I find her, her other crack pipe that she had been using in all of her stuff. Insert picture here. And then the plot thickens because while I was going through her things and packing everything up, I found toilet paper or um, paper towel under the sink. A couple of days prior, I had bought a six pack of bounty paper towels. And I was like, why are there only two, why are there only three left now? Um, she had been flushing the toilet paper or the paper towel down the toilet and that's why the toilet didn't work remember early in the story she was like my roommate had been using a toilet and she needs to come clean it up now no she had been flushing that down the toilet and delusion and having delusions excuse me anyways <clears throat> i'm going to finish these eyes and then come back the hair on and the earrings and this is the eye look. The apartment, and I think we, she worked to the apartment, the police came, and so towards the end of like them telling me they couldn't do anything, they flipped the script and was like, okay, we'll escort her off property. Can you get her stuff and then bring it downstairs? So I pack up all her stuff and the security guard brings it downstairs and she leaves. And I thought that was the end of her. No, she is texting my roommate talking about, I am evil, I am the most, I am the worst person that she's ever met, which, have you met me? I am sweet as a peach um message that she sent about like after she was like oh your room like uh our roommate's been using my she's to clean up right now she said she's i believe she's a heroin addict i know these things you can't get these bottles at any pharmacy so i'm like what she's and they often said people who are on drugs usually accuse other people of being on the same drug. So she was accusing my roommate, the one who's in the hospital for two weeks, of being on heroin. When she was the one that was on heroin. So the saga finally comes to an end. She's out of the apartment. She returned the key. My roommate basically returned her, uh, some uh, prorated her deposit and gave her back um, some of the rent. And it's finally done. She's finally out of our lives. That was, I want to say, one of the most traumatic events I've had in LA. Um, it could have been way worse, and that's what I was afraid of, the unknown about her. She could have been fine just tweaking out, but the fact that I didn't know she was able, she was capable of hurting me or hurting my roommate, especially since uh, my roommate is hard of hearing, you guys know that. Um, having her be in the house by herself with her not knowing like what her intentions are would freak me out, and I was worried. But yeah, so... That is my roommate story. I have many more where that came from. Trust me, I have lived with 15 people. I've lived with, um, I've had in the course of the time, three years that I've lived in LA, I've had four apartments. 
and I'm about to move into my fifth once I leave here. And um, so yeah, if you guys wanna see more roommate stories, please comment down below. Um, subscribe, follow me on all my socials, and we're done. We're over it, I'm over it. Obviously my earring was over it. <laughs> okay, bye you guys.